everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk you guys through what I'm doing to prepare for the new year. So how I'm planning to get ready for 2017 and make sure that it is one of my best years yet. So I wanted to share this with you all in hopes that you can find some useful things to implement into your own life, um, whether you're planning for your business or your personal life. I hope that these things are helpful for you. Again, these are definitely things that I am actually doing, um, techniques that I'm implementing implementing in my life right now as we speak to get ready for the new year. So um, again, I really hope this is helpful for you. If it is helpful for you, I would really appreciate it if you'd give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is May. I am a lawyer, an entrepreneur, and I just love social media. Um, I'm fascinated by it. I love this community, um, and I'm just so happy to like share the things that I love and that I find helpful with all of you. So I really appreciate you joining me um, and coming along with me if you are a longtime subscriber, if this is your first time. All right, let's get started. I've got my Louis Vuitton agenda. I've got some notes. Let's do this. All right, actually one more disclaimer. I've said this in a lot of my videos um, that are kind of prepping for the new year. I did a um, prep series, organization prep series last year in 2006, well, getting ready for 2016. Um, and then we are in the middle of another one. This video is part of, um, again, a preparation planner organization series for 2017. So um, there are definitely other videos that are part of this series. Um, I will make a playlist and link it down below. But I just want to make this disclaimer that I again say in all these videos, even if you find this video um, later on in the middle of the year, or if you find yourself in, um, you know, June needing a little bit of inspiration or September, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Um, you can decide to start over and get back on track literally whenever you want. So you pick a start date, um, you can make your own new year, you can do this whenever you want. So don't let these arbitrary dates um, and the pressure of New Year's and New Year's resolutions get to you. Um, I'm just taking advantage of this time and kind of starting afresh. Um, this works well for me because I'm wrapping up some big projects with um, my business. And so this is just kind of a natural transition for me to um, move into the new year and kind of start fresh. But um, you can literally pick any time you want and decide that that is going to be um, your new year. In fact, uh, last year in 2016, I created an entire um, sticker set based on the concept that February is the new January. And really, that was just because um, you know the new year was coming up, and last year at this time, I just wasn't in the same place. Um, I had a lot of projects that were unfinished, and I wasn't prepared to kind of move into the new year. Um, so you know, we all have different seasons of our lives. Um, and at that point, I just wasn't feeling ready to kind of transition and start new. And so I decided that um, February was going to be my new January. So um, if that's a, a concept that resonates with you and speaks to you, um, definitely check out my website because I have um, some fun planner stickers um, that will kind of help you commemorate that in your planner. And I talk a lot more about that on my blog. So I'll link all that down below for you. Okay, now for real, let's get started. So the first thing that I would encourage you to do and the first thing that I have done to prepare for 2017 is to pick my one little word. Now this is a concept that has been around for a long time. A lot of different people are talking about it. Um, I probably started doing it just a couple of years ago and my word, um, I think two years ago and last year both was simplify. Um, again, I have a video talking about this. Basically, you want to pick a concept that will be your um, theme for the year. So um, I have chosen a word for 2017 that will be my overarching theme, but I've taken it one step further and I've decided to theme every single month. So I think this is a great concept. Again, I don't remember where I heard about this, but um, it's something that I've kind of seen all over the internet. I think it helps to break the year down into um, smaller chunks, more manageable chunks, which are months, or you could pick a quarter and um, pick a theme for each quarter. So you have four themes. 
Um, really, it's up to you, but I like this concept because it helps you to um, get more things done. You can kind of focus on more things throughout the year, but also it's not as overwhelming and daunting. So I have gone ahead and picked a theme for each month as well. So January, um, as cliche as it sounds, is for health. Um, I just really want to focus on that. For the past couple of months, I have been really trying to eat clean, less sugar, less gluten. I have a video and blog post kind of talking more about that, sharing how I'm learning to meal plan and what I eat in a day. So again, I'll link that down below for you. But um, I just really want to solidify all of that. So that'll be January. Um, and then I've just kind of moved on throughout the months. February, um, my focus is going to be my blog. I started to vamp that back up again and it's so exciting. Um, I really appreciate you guys visiting my blog and um, checking out all my posts there. I'm just really feeling it right now. So um, I want to capitalize on that momentum. So February is going to be my blog and then um, you know, it just it goes on I don't want to go through all of my months with you guys right now But I have gone through and assigned each month a theme All right The next thing that I did was choose a planner and I know that some of you are seasoned um, Planner aficionados you guys know what you're doing um, You know your setup and all of that if you don't know um, what planner you want to use I have a video talking all about um, how to choose a planner um, so I'll link that down below but you have to kind of just decide what style or category of planner you want um, my only caveat to that is just remember that you can change your mind whenever you want so um, if you're looking for planner piece maybe try out something different I've shared my thoughts on finding planner piece again in another video um, so check that out but yeah just kind of decide what you want to use for the new year remember you can always change your mind don't worry about it but just pick a planner and an organization system System and get that in place so that once the new year comes you're all ready to go everything's set up so speaking of setups I've decided that I'm going to be using my um, gold Safiano a5 Filofax I absolutely love that planner I think it's beautiful and um, I will be setting that up with you guys I actually filmed um, myself setting up the planner and getting ready for it so I don't know where that's gonna be released in this series of videos but keep an eye out for that on how I set up my planner um, I'm super excited to be back in a ring style planner so stay tuned for that all right the third thing I've done is to clean up my social media so I went through literally all of my social media channels, um, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, my YouTube channel, and if you are not following me on all of those, oh, and Snapchat too, loving Snapchat, um, make sure that you're following me on all those social media channels. But I went through my feeds and um, just cleaned things up a little bit. On YouTube, I created um, a couple extra playlists and moved things around a little bit to kind of, you know, button things up and make sure that they're nice and clean and tight and organized. I went through my Instagram list and just made sure that everyone that I was following um, were still people that I wanted to be following and that um, were still you know accounts that I was drawing inspiration from and felt um, positive when I looked at them and then I also made sure that I was still following some of the accounts that I wanted to be sure I was following so um, I've heard this rumor I don't know if it's true but apparently YouTube is like unsubscribing people kind of silently from different accounts so I just made sure that I was still um, following the people that I wanted to follow and just um, made sure that whatever I was presenting on social media kind of fit my mission and my purpose and um, was on point with my brand. And then finally, I just revisited my list of goals. Now, again, goal setting is um, can be tricky. It doesn't have to be, but um, I think sometimes we kind of get wrapped up in what goal setting is and is not. I have an exciting new project that's gonna help you with goal setting. Um, I can't wait to share more about that with you guys. There will be an accompanying blog post to this video, so make sure that you check out that blog post because it's gonna have all the details. Um, I've been working really, really hard on this for a long time and I'm so excited to share it with you guys um, I think it's really gonna help you with your goal setting um, so definitely check that out and let me know if you end up using it how it works for you so yeah I'm just gonna kind of revisit my goals I'm not one on making like huge resolutions but just want to make sure that I am getting back on track um, I have a whole video kind of discussing um, the ways that I get back on track and how I set my goals so again I will link that so that you can check it out um, if that's an area that you need more 
more help with. All right, so that's it. That is what I've been doing to make sure that I am ready to go for 2017, that I'm organized and on track and ready for a fresh new start um, to kind of tackle all the things that are coming my way. I'm really, really excited for the new year. It's been almost one year that I've been living in LA and I'm just, everything is amazing. I could not be happier or more grateful um, for all the opportunities that have come my way. So I'm excited to share a new year with all of you. Again, thank you so much for all of your support um, of my blog and my YouTube channel and my stickers and um, get excited because I have a lot more um, things that I'll be sharing with you all, new projects, um, new ways to kind of help you improve and um, live an even better life. So I'm looking forward to um, sharing that and exploring that with all of you. Thank you for helping me um, grow my channel and sharing my content. I would love if you would share this video with some of your friends as you get ready for the new year. Um, I really, really appreciate you guys. It means so much to me. So thank you for subscribing and liking and um, just interacting with me and being a part of my community. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Make sure that you message me on Snapchat or Twitter or Instagram or leave a comment here on this YouTube video so I know what things you're working on to get ready for the new year, what your resolutions are. Um, I really want to share in this journey with you, so please be sure to leave me a comment or reach out on social media um, and visit my blog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you soon. Bye.